In today's video, we are going to compare the usable capacity of lithium iron phosphate and sodium ion batteries when charged to 14.4 volts, similar to most vehicle stock alternators. We will be using a 10 amp hour sodium ion cylinder battery and an 8.5 amp hour lithium. So right out of the gate, the sodium battery, you would expect to have greater capacity. Discharge rate is set to 10.5 amps of current, so a rate of a little over 1C versus 1.3C. We will test down to 12 volts, since lower than this could potentially damage your vehicle's stock electronics and or your aftermarket audio accessories. The video speed here is adjusted by a multiplier of six, so let's see how things go. The sodium ion battery here had an impressive start, but in under two amp hours of capacity discharged, we can see here that the sodium battery's voltage has now dropped below the lithium iron phosphates. Will things even out? Will the new 10 amp hour sodium be able to stay above 12 volts for longer than the lesser rated lithium? We will know soon. Things aren't going well for the sodium ion battery at this point. 1219 volts compared to the lithium battery's 12.7 volts. And we are only a little under 3 amp hours into the discharge test. At 307 amp hours into the test, we have dropped to 12 volts on the sodium ion battery. This means if we are using a stock alternator with a sodium ion battery, we will have around 30% of the cell's rated capacity in usable energy. Let's see where we end up with the lithium battery. Four point two six amp hours from the smaller lithium iron phosphate battery. This means the lithium cell was able to provide almost 1.4 times the amount of amperage before dropping below 12 volts when compared to the sodium ion setup, and an impressive 51% over 12 volts. Remember, capacity tests are generally done at 1C and often 0.5C. By pulling 1.3C, these results were diminished and would be higher doing a test at 8.5 amps of current. This is what the collected data looks like plotted out. The sodium starts out strong, but the linear nature of the discharge causes it to quickly drop below the lithium. This trend doesn't slow down either. The result is unfortunately much smaller than anticipated usable energy in a case like this. Does this mean that sodium batteries are bad? Not at all. Sodium cells are certainly the future. Are they the present? I'll let you decide. We will be doing additional tests such as charging rates, load tests, and thermal cycling over the next few weeks. Please subscribe if you're interested in more content like this. And don't forget to check out www.glowvoltage.com for the best batteries and accessories to keep your amplifiers powered up full tilt. Questions? Let us know.